Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy Kimbo here and it's time for an epic Bakugan Armored Alliance unboxing. So we've got this three pack right here featuring Ventus, Arliss, Pegatrix, X, Goreen, Ultra. So we got this bad boy in Ventus with Arliss. So, so awesome. And also Pyrus Darkest, Trox, X, Cyrus, and Aquas, Ventus, Drago, X, Treacherous man, Dragonitis in the Aquas and Ventus. So there's the artwork for all of them, dude. So so awesome. They look really sick. And honestly, the Trox Cyrus is a lot like, I mean, really similar to like the one from the uh the unbox the unboxing brawl pack. So yeah, man. But anyways, check out the back. They'll show off all of the Bakugan for like the three packs, which honestly would be cool if they did that, like you know, three packs in the future and they showed it off in the back. But yeah, you know, just so people know what Bakugan coming each way for like the three packs. So yeah, man, but they all look so so good. The art for them looks really really awesome. But without further ado, let's get into it. All right, boom. Get that there. I always have a little bit of trouble opening the three packs, but you know, all that cardboard and such, and I just don't want to yeet anything. All right, I'm gonna rep tire it a little bit. All right, get the cards. There we go. And then all the cores. Boom. That all to the side. I think I get the gun out. There we go. Boom. Boom. And boom. All right, man. Now just for the cards. Hopefully there's only one. Yeah, okay, cool. Only one strip of tape in the way. I was getting nervous, like, doing this because I just don't want to, like, bend the cards like crazy, you know. All right. But I always love it when they put in, like, the gate card or the gate trainer card. It really does reinforce it. So, yeah, definitely glad they're including them now. All right. And then just look at the sheet. Show off all of the Bakugan that we've seen thus far for Armored Alliance. Basically, all of them, you know. But, yeah, dude. There they all are. Haven't seen the Core Pegatrix Goreen, though. I think we haven't seen that yet. But, yeah, man. We've got the, uh, the gate card here. Check out Hydrus. But 200, 500, 300, 100, 400, and 0. So, big time boost for uh, Aquas and Arliss. All right, and then we got the all the cores. So we got a regular fist here, uh, plus a hundred. Aquas and Ventus getting plus three. That's a pretty nice one. Got the shield plus one fifty plus one. That one's okay. Um, then we got a flame fist plus three. Fusion Bakugan getting plus four. Nice for damage decks. Uh, got a helix. Fusion Bakugan getting plus three hundred and two for the frost strike. Okay. Then plus two fusion back gun getting plus five hundred for fusions. That's honestly a pretty nice uh, helix. And then plus fifty and plus one. So not the overall best cores with this, but yeah, man. Uh, now we've got the Bakugan. So I guess first things first. Why not? We'll get into uh, Pegatrix Goreen. So gotta see that gold right there on the shoulders, and then the lime green for the horn. Got the Eye of Goreen up there. All the gold on the wings and the tail, man. Definitely was waiting for that. Looks so sick, all of that gold paint. And then the silver as well on the hooves. So, let's see. How much uh, B-Power is it? Where's that? Oh, there it is. B-Power 700. I mean, if it has a Helix, that's honestly pretty nice. But it'll depend on the course. Um, I mean, regardless, it seems like it might have, like, a shield or a Helix at least. So... Hopefully. I mean, if it has, like, the regular fist and the flame fist, it still gets, like, 950, which isn't too bad. But, yeah, man. Overall, looks so, so good in Ventus. All right. Then we've got uh, Drago Treteris. So we got Drago Nidus up in the house. Aquas and Ventus looking so awesome with all that blue. The green paint on this looks so nice. Definitely dig that lime green uh, paint right there. And then the regular green. Got that orange and the bit of sky blue, honestly, in the ball form, it looks really, really nice. So, let's see. Show off the opening action for it real quick. All right. Boom. There we go. Is it strong enough to pick up two? Um, 
It tries to, but nah, man, it's only going to pick up one. But it still looks so, so awesome, man. And check it out. All the green on the head and then the orange for the horn looks so, so cool. All right, let's see here. See if we can peep the uh, the B power. Is it on the tail? Oh, it's on the back. Okay. So the B power is uh, 600. If it has a shield, it's breaking 1,000. So that is pretty cool. So, yeah, man. All right. Then, last but not least, we got Shrox Cyrus up in here, and it's really similar to the one from the Unboxing Brawl Pack, but it still looks so, so good. That red, all the black and purple on the wings, the orange paint. I really dig how much paint they put on this and all the different colors. It looks so, so cool, dude. Definitely dig it big time. All right, got to see that opening action for it. Three, two, one. It's got a big magnet, too. Just, just FYI, like, look at that. <laughs> but Bakugan, bro. Hey, there we go. Let's see, is it strong enough to pick up two? Um, doesn't seem it. It's got like a wide magnet, so it should be easier to land it. But it still is probably going to pick up one. But its B power is 500. All right. And then all of the black and the green for the head. Just, all the paint for it in general. It looks so, so awesome, man. I really dig it. When, like, the Bakugan design is just this cool and this amazing. And also, it's pretty usable. So, yeah. Man, <laughs> that looks so good. I love all the paint on it. All right. So, now we got to take a look at the cards. All right. So, we got a uh, Vicious Defense. Three cost. Minus 200 and minus six. Okay. You see Simoga right there looking like a beast. Um, and then we got Flip Strike, three cost plus 700. That is definitely nice. Um, Magma Gun, plus 1200, six cost. And then we got Drago and Treteris, so 602. It has a helix with it, dude. So, I mean, you can get up to 1101 or 1200 and zero out. But still, you got some uh, damage cards in your deck, you know. I mean,. 1200 1200 straight out of the gate that is pretty nice and four costs for its fusion as well flip it you got a thousand and six and the shadow strike with it so that is nice 1603 and shadow strike also that's pretty nice man drago treacherous is definitely seen as like one of the better uh fusion bakugan but yeah man by some i think they're usable especially with like fusion cores like you figure out a way to use them the right way like oh my goodness fusion cores are crazy Pegatrix Goreen Ultra, 701. Has the shield with it, so it's getting up to 1101. So that's pretty nice. Even with the, the Flame Fist, still 950. It can break 1,000. And 8 cost for its fusion. So definitely energy ramp is needed for it. Uh, but 1,313. So big time damage and also be power with it. Obviously, that Arliss balance coming into play uh, big time with it. But still, that's like 1,700. I mean, you get it set up the right way. 1713 yeah but also eight cost for it so definitely want to use that energy ramp and then we got shrox and cyrus 504 six cost for the fusion so it's getting up to 1101 so that is pretty nice six cost flip it over a thousand and twelve man just awesome awesome artwork looks so so cool dude but 1609 you know and six cost for it but, yeah, man, now, I guess I'll show you guys the opening action for Pegatrix Goreen. So, anybody who doesn't know how to close it, got the head, shoulders, knees, and toes. I know I say that a lot, but, yeah, there we go. Probably better to put the back legs in for it, because that's probably the most tricky part, I think. Um, and then, see if I can get the, the tail, if I can. Let's see. Boom. And then, get, get that. Nope, nope, nope. <laughs> it's like, no, no. I'm probably doing like the complex way too. All right, so there we go. All the wings, got the head, got to get that in. There we go. And then the top part of the tail. All right, and there it is, dude. Pegatrix X Goreen Ultra Ventus and Arliss in the ball form. All that gold looking so, so sick with it. Looks really, really awesome, man. But yeah, now time for that opening action. Three, two, one, and Bakugan Brawl. Oh, it rolled over it. Okay, let's see if we can get that backspin on it. Nope. <laughs> I tried. I tried. All right. 
see here. Yo, Jack Cuso wrong. Nope. That didn't work that time. Wow. All right. A, A, A. Nah. Sideways. Sideways. Yes. <laughs> there we go. But there it is, man. Pegatrix X Goreen Ultra Ventus and Arliss version. Looking so, so sick, man. But yeah. That's going to do it, you guys, for this review on this absolutely epic Bakugan Armored Alliance Ventus Arliss Pegatrix X Goreen 3 pack. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, be sure to slice that like button down below. Let me know how I did. If you're new to my channel, definitely be sure to subscribe for some epic, epic content because I upload daily. And if you haven't already, be sure to ring that bell by my channel name to be notified whenever I upload a video. So yeah, guys, until next time, it is your boy Kimbo signing off. See you guys later. Thanks so much for watching. Until then, stay awesome and Bakugan Brawl. I'm about out of here.